the map. I'm just... The scenery is just too good. And now I see some antelope out on the prairie. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. This is... This is not Geo that I'm filming right here. Oh, you! That sign! Oh, I'm so happy to see that! Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad to see that sign. Ah, doing it. No GPS. This is fun. I will do this again. Solo missions though, I think. I was questioning uh, where I was going for a little bit, a little while there because I got off of my primary route, which was the simpler route. Even though it was taking a few minutes longer, like only three minutes, it was easier. And I decided to take that route because I was reading uh, a chapter in the, in the Tao Te Ching in the hostel the other night in Vancouver and it said, so it was just one line in a chapter, and thinking keep to the simple. So I applied it to this. It was just in my mind for some reason. You know, in planning this, why make it confusing trying to memorize things in the map and having to reference it? Just take take the, the route with less turns. So that's what I wanted to do. For some reason, got off the line. But I was like, you know what? I, it's okay. I know the secondary path uh, as well. So we just went on it and um, we were just looking at the map. Okay, there's that town, there's that town. Okay, I should be coming to, to where I have to make my next turn. Or where the, where the highway, uh, I need to get on a new highway. Just questioning like, oh, did I pass it? It's been a while. Because you don't know how long it's going to take you to get to these places. It's not like in the GPS where it's like, you know, 38 minutes and turn left. You don't know, right? I'm sure you get better at estimating the, the times and the distances when you look at the map. Ah, but it's good fun and I'm glad that I made it. This road will take me right back to the 90 East and that's the main thing to the East. At least to the Chicago area. It's a long ways away. So, yeah, it's good fun. The highway out of Yellowstone, Highway 20, I think it turns into Highway 14. Ooh, boy, wow. Awe-inspiring eye candy. Just the scenes, man, the scenes. Right out of a Wild West movie. I'm sure they filmed Hollywood movies in these places because they look... It's like you went back in time, you know, you're seeing cattle ranches and real cowboys with cowboy hats on and you drive through these towns and it's small town America, like small, small town America, patriots, you know, I've seen a lot of huge Trump banners and then you see the odd Biden one and I drove through a, uh, a little town and there's a store and the name of the store, this little strip plaza, looked like right out of like the 1800s Wild West Plaza, like everything's made from wood still and everything. Guns and ammo in Helvetica, in yellow Hel Helvetica. Guns and ammo, that was the name of the store. And I'm driving by just like, <laughs> I'm not afraid, but it's just like, wow, I'm really seeing it. This is insane. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just this, this highway. It brings you right through the heart of, of the states, you know, these places. Just so beautiful. I can't get over it, how beautiful. Just everywhere. And then I saw lightning strike.
dark, but it's dark. <laughs> it's very dark. It's way darker than what the camera's actually showing. I have it ISO jacked up. I didn't want this to happen, but it happened. Um, I thought, I didn't know I was going to be driving through the mountains again. I thought I was out of that because I was in sort of like this vast open prairie for um, a long time. All right, I don't know if I'm in focus or not, whatever. Didn't know I was going to be up in the mountains high in the mountains again. But yeah, here we are and I need to stop because it's, it's dark and you don't want to be driving through the mountains when it's dark. Like these are, you go off this, you're done. There, there's no coming back. Like we are high. I always uh, let people pass me because I drive slow. I drive very slow. Partly because I'm taking it in and two because, yeah, it's just the van, you know. But I really want to get off this mountain right now. I've contemplated, there's a bunch of pull-offs just like the one I pulled off at just there. Contemplated just sleeping there, but I'm like, uh, you know, sleeping in the van, you, it's safe, but you have to use your head too. Like, you know, being in a discreet spot, that's discreet, but there's also people and stuff around, you know, like that's, that's safer when you're by yourself. Like being up here, it's one road, every car that drives by sees the van there. So at four in the morning, you know, you get some hooligans, you see, get some people who up there, no good, you know, you never know, you could come across those people. You probably won't, but it's just like, why would you put yourself even in that situation? So I think I'm just gonna try to keep driving, take it easy, get off the mountain, and hopefully there's a truck stop coming up. All right, now it's kind of gone from bad to worse. Oh well, no, you know what, everything is okay. Everything really is okay, I'm taking it easy. But it's pouring rain now. Taking it real, real easy. Because there ain't nobody up here but me. Nobody's coming to help. There she is. Yeah, what a relief. The twinkle of city lights. No idea how big this city is, but civilization. people in town. <laughs> Nothing is open. This time of night. 9.36 on a Sunday. So, nothing's open. Only McDonald's. And I'm not doing that. So I made a PB&J. Need to find a place to sleep. I don't know about this town. I feel like I should keep going because it's, well it's 10. No, I should probably sleep here. The risk with going back on the highway is that uh, I think I'm going back into the middle of nowhere, so it's kind of what it looks like on the map. So I might just try to do a, another stealth camp here in the city. 